Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Mario Kart Tour. Today we're taking a look at the Daisy Cup, doing non-stops throughout all of these tracks, showing you how to take advantage of everything on the track along the way. Right, we're going to start with Cheap Cheap Island, a brand new track, and therefore probably the harder, hardest two non-stop combo. And, and aside from it being a new track, the, the other two tracks are very easy to non-stop. It's not that long a track, which is which is generally quite good for getting a non-stop because you can just retry fairly quickly right cheap cheap island i'm going in with my level four penguin toad with dash ring probably one of the better abilities triple bananas on daisy swimwear are going to be good it, there are a lot of aggressive comms on this therefore it, it, the, the th things like bananas triple bananas on donkey kong jr as well these are going to be really good for getting hit some hits a bob on cannon probably not so good you can stay in front uh, it's just they stay a little bit close biting you. So I don't think the bob on cannon is going to help for you too much. Fire Flower could help you in the same way with Triple Bananas. But it, they could go flying off into the sea on this track. So not that great. Best choice, luckily, Penguin Toad. Then when we go for car options, I mean I'm limited. But I'm going in with Mini Turbo Plus. Anyway, which is the best? Gold Cheap Charger. Jump Boosts, not going to be as good on this track. Um... Add, I think there's very few of them, and then slip streams, dash panels. There's no, no, no good. Let's go for mini turbo plus on this. Then I'm going in with my penguin wingtip with mushroom plus, but there are other choices. Banana, sunny surf master's not going to have banana plus, neither is star great sail, neither is this, and bob one plus, and neither is this great sail, a pirate great sail. Black Great Sale, uh, Bullet Bill Plus. So nothing to help you on the banana front, but we do have bob -ombs. If you're going in with bob -omb cannon, could be helpful. Right, let's take a look at this run. It took me a few, a fair few goes, because I kept getting hit. As I say, aggressive comms on this one are going to be the thing that make it difficult to non-stop. So here is my non-stop combo. And go. No, no, you, you, you're the failure to fail. Right, this is it. Three, two, one. You need to start up front on this one. Don't, don't settle for any less because it means you're going to set up very nicely for these three coins, and it makes a big difference going into this bit. So you want to charge up a super mini turbo. That's going to give the extra room to charge up a um, a mini turbo whilst making sure you don't go off to the sides. Then it's a release there. Your item to get should kick in, and then you start turning to left, charging up a, a boost, going into these two coins just to get the inside so comms aren't as uh, likely to take you over. From there, a super mini turbo will mean you can release a mini turbo to get you to these four coins, and it's the same again. Charging up those mini turbos to super mini turbos makes a big difference on this track. We release there for a super mini turbo, gets us comfortably to this jump boost dash panel. So there's our first jump boost and a dash panel if you're going in with dash panel plus. Again, charging up to the right here, trying to get in a super mini turbo. That will just help give you nice plenty of room to get into a comfortable position here where you can release now. Mini turbo to the left. Mini turbo to the left mini turbo. It's a lot of left mini turbos around here. Um, your item ticket will kick in. Don't worry too much about this bit because there is a jump boost at the end of this that jump boost will get you comfortably to the line with the level four glider um, but you can just get in a little cheeky mini turbo just in case and you might as well get one to add to the points that you've got from there it's exactly the same charging up my super mini turbo to the left release then setting myself up to the right see with without that super you're going to throw yourself onto the beach towards the sea and that's not going to help you can if you feel in a, in a comfortable position take the outside there you're going to get one extra coin so you're probably going to want to do that if you're really trying to maximize your score and same again release mini turbo it's just comfortably here and then we get a sound horn which is the most perfect perfect timing um, because we've got a blue shell coming in thank god we got a frenzy there and we actually get the destroyed spiny spike which is huge points um, but how coin frenzy on this run. Release my Ultra Mini Turbo. Gives me plenty of room here now. For after this to release. 
And then I know I can just turn, knowing that my ATM ticket's going to kick in as long as I get a coin. Do. <laughs> and then release the mini turbo. That'll get us to this jump boost. Jump boost. Mini turbo. Release. And home. Done. That's how you non stop combo that new track. Not too difficult. But hopefully that will help you. Um, next up, let's take a look at the. Uh, the second track, Remix Choco Island 2 R, very good options on this one. Obviously, you want to be going in with a coin, um, coin box driver. You got Dash Ring and Mushroom Cannon to back you up if you haven't got them. But yeah, it's all about the coin box drivers. Then Choco Islands is a lot of jump boosts and dash panels, um, and obviously you're going to get a lot of mini turbos. So you want to pick any of those. Dark Trickster is going to be good for that. And Head Honcho is going to be good for mini turbos. Ice Blue Portagast for dash panels as well as Paintster. So some good good carts there to help you out. And then of course the Gold Glider. At level 6 for me going on level 7 in like 1,000 more coins. Uh, other options are pretty pretty rubbish in comparison. Super Horns, Blooper Plus, Bullet Bill Plus, um, Mega Mushroom Plus and, and Bullet Bill Plus. Yeah, it's, it's all about the Coin Glider. Um, and let's take a look at this run. Didn't take as long on this one. Eight minutes. Let's open it up in video player. That's the end. And let's go. Right. Choco Island 2 in reverse. We're going for that non stop. Taking advantage of everything. Let's go. 3, 2, 1. Right. Starting with a right turn. Could benefit from being up front on this one, but if you're not, if you're at the back, you're probably going to have to miss those coins out and go for a mini turbo into that last coin. And then a mini turbo will take you comfortably up there to so get the jump boost. Then it's about setting up for these coins and jump boosts. Uh, we get a nice banana frenzy at one of the best sections because this bit is a bottleneck and there, those bananas are going to hit. Um, make sure when you're laying bananas that you you know they, they throw up right to your back so you do have to if you're turning make sure to account for that so it doesn't go on the side of the track then up here we're obviously going to go through it now through here aim down a bit just to catch the jump boost off that bit I failed to do that it's just an extra free jump boost you might as well and then turning to the right here you want to be setting up for these three coins we get a piranha plant hit with one of our shells, which just saved us. A lot of a lot of good saves here in this run. Get a hit with our red shell there. And then do it all again. It's a very, very short track. Really short track. Plenty of jump boosts on it. I'm very wary of this banana. Ooh, ooh. Just scoot in front of them with a super... And then you're going to have to get that mini turbo in to get you over here. Jump boost off there. I'd say that the semi most difficult section to maintain is this bit. But very, only shortly. We, we get the, uh, the red shell there. We cannot turn out the way of that. But luckily the payback gives us the extra room and a coin. It's just there for us to take. As I said, a very, very lucky run. Look, and then another banana. And I managed to get a hit. These are my bananas that I dropped before. And then finishing on the coin box frenzy. So it's all about getting the land here. Obviously, we're going to go through some coins there, which we missed out. But I wanted to get down and get picking up a nice line of coins here. We've got, I mean, look how many coins we've just picked up there. I think it probably works in our favor that we did that. In air, we would have missed out on a fair few coins, which I think would have accounted for the coins we would have, going to, would have gained had we gone through that, that circle of coins. Non-stop combo, 25,000 on that. And then finally, we have a very old track, done before. Fairly easy to, to non-stop combo. It is a very long track though. Shy Guy Bazaar in reverse. Good options on this for in terms of Anybody, any new starters? Because we've got two supers in Daisy and we've got the Firebro. Um, 
two average abilities obviously your best choice here is mario tuxedo we do have some really good super options in pauline dry bowers with bowser's shell giga bob is going to be okay but it's not too difficult to stay up front on this one we've got boomerang flower with shagai ninja which is going to be really good daisy yukata fire flower and mushroom cannon with shagai pastry um so i'm going for tuxedo going for those coin boxes level seven day tripper for me comes with dash panel plus which is going to be helpful on this track uh jump boosts are going to be very good as well which you're going to get with the apple cart and the gilded prancer and then we have the t coop lime t coop has mini turbo plus wow lo loads of carts available jump boost on that mini turbo on that and then oh jump boost mini turbo damn damn thought i knew it and then we have another super option in the flower glider with banana plus have that level seven there are coin box the coin gliders as an option we do have a, a very a common banana plus as well which is good for anybody any new starters again uh but yeah obviously glinting glider and your gold new year's kite are going to be best in combination with mario tuxedo at a higher level right let's take a look at this run Dun, dun. Shy Guy Bazaar in reverse. Yeah, like I say, it's a long track. So there's plenty of room to make mistakes. But this was like, I think it was like my first run. I may have got lucky. You want to start first, ideally, on this one again. Another one where starting first means you get three coins. Um, Otherwise, you're gonna have to, you're probably gonna miss those, and you're gonna have to mini turbo it. So triple mini turbo there to the left. Up here, we're going to second place. First place now, which is where you need to be really, because you're gonna go through all these coins, and they're gonna get taken from you if you're not. Um, you can glide up a little bit there, and still keep the glide going after getting the dash panel jump boost. Lots of points to be picked up of each of these jump boost dash panels. Can aim for the middle and take two coins. There's got to be a slipstream in there. Yep. Yeah. Well, be careful, as you'll see on the second track. You don't miss the item box there. We did not take that very well. <laughs> We've got a banana frenzy plus, which is perfect with our banana banana plus glider. Turn to the left. Trying to set up a little bit better for these. You have to take that wide, otherwise you're going to miss the coins. So I, I choose to hold my glide through here. Because it's going to be very helpful at this slightly tricky section. So I can take my dash panel, still hit this coin, and then release here to make sure I get the coin. And come through here, release mini turbo. It sets me up really nicely for that bit. Mini turbo. Banana, needing it to kick in really, but we've we've saved ourselves with that mini turbo, and we still set up nicely for those last two coins, completing the track. So yeah, I think that ultra mini turbo helps you out a lot. This is how you'd want to take this first start if you were in first place. You can get a little cheeky mini turbo if you want, or we miss a coin, um, and then release another mini turbo, getting another mini turbo just before this and then you're up and away beautiful fireworks this reminds me of Aladdin Agrabah as I say pull up really there and keep the glide going but it's my first first time doing the run first run on this and I'm just thinking keep it going keep it going Yep, so here we go. Coming off that jump boost, I do charge up a super mini turbo, throws me into the side, and I miss those items. So be careful of that. Set up nicely for these three coins. Though, super mini turbo out of there. Making sure to hit the pots. Trying to hit two, but only hit one there. Mini turbo after the jar. Turn to the right. Mini turbo will drop them items. Hopefully get a hit. We don't, but we save ourselves with the mini turbo. Coin. Got another mini turbo. So again, don't use your mini turbo there. Charging it up. Charging through here. You'll be able to get to an ultra mini turbo because of these coins and the dash panel. 
and then dash panel into the coin okay we, we left a little bit too late there gives you plenty of room here to set up release the mini turbo wait for your item to kick in bosh bosh and then you've got a mini turbo coming out into here the coin box just makes it so much easier look at this bosh 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 at that point i know i'm, I'm home free little mini turbo don't lose it at the end and that's how you get a non-stop combo on Shy Guy Bazaar in reverse and every single track. That is all for this one. Hopefully you guys find it helpful and hopefully you get some good scores this week. If you have, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. See you guys soon.